love being a Libra. I wish everybody was Libras. I'm so in love most of the time. Some of the time I'm not so in love. I have the very funny duality. I'm either pissy and I really want to get in your face or I'm super nice and the most charming person you ever met and everybody gets along with me. I know how to keep you happy. One of the tricks is asking a lot of questions. I could be the quintessential interviewer. And I would interview my partner and I'd be so interested, but if you don't remember to ask me questions, I'm gonna get pissed off. Like, what about me? I never tell you that I want you to ask about me. That's the funny part, I'm a little tricky. I'm a tricky girl to be in relationship with because I appear super independent, but I'm not. And then I'm super needy, but I'm not. Go figure. And I love processing. Like, talk to me. I could sit around with my partner, my best friend, someone, and I just love that conversation. It's kind of like sex me, really good conversation. And then if you're not talking to me and you cut me off, I will just match you. Don't you worry about a thing. You want to cut off? Watch me. Ha! And not only can I cut you off, but I can make myself so charming everyone else will like me while you're wondering why isn't she being nice to me? Because I just have this way of playing wherever I am. I'm so graceful. It's one of my things. Look at my clothes. Everything about me is color coordinated and I know exactly how to play the room and I have a lot of sex appeal, is it obvious? And we can have sex if you remember to be really fascinated by me. Yeah, as soon as you got me going, I will be like, what do you want, honey? I am the quintessential giver. But you've got to be able to write it down on the side of my bed because I can forget sometimes. Like I cut off completely and if I'm not being charmed, I go like, did you want to get physical? I'm out of my body for a minute because I'm in my head. I'm reading, I'm thinking, I'm fascinated, I'm on the phone, I'm internet, I've got people everywhere. And then I can lose it. It's the weirdest thing. I can get my so frustrated sometimes and then I get back to being really nice. Which one do you like better? And my best thing is, you know what I really want to do? Have a bicycle built for two. We could go together everywhere. I'm built for like the Velcro thing. Stick two people together and then try to pull them apart. Then stick them together. I'm so good at partnership. And then I want to be alone. I know. Will you please understand me? My partner gets so upset when I say, I just want to have some time alone because I really don't. But I do. But I don't. It's kind of confusing. So I want to be single, but I want to be in a relationship. But the most important thing is I want you to be interested in me. Charm. Wit. Funny. And of course, my sense of humor and my style make me stand out in a crowd. It's one of my things, asking really good questions like, what is this astrology stuff anyway? And why would you be interested? Because you want to know me better? Now you got me interested. But if it's just to understand yourself or it's superficial, I'm not really interested. Well, kind of. That's the thing. I'm kind of interested in superficiality because I like the way it looks, but I'm deeply interested in the soul. Well, only if you're going to stimulate me. I can't think much for myself. I'm the pleaser. I'm the constant pleaser. And then I get pissed at myself because why am I always pleasing everybody? What about me? Every Libra woman has so much charm you cannot resist her. However, if you get on her wrong side, she cuts off. Bye bye. I can detach in a heartbeat. I know I do it. I don't mean to do it. It's just sometimes I'm an air sign. I just change my mind right in the middle of the story. But partnering is definitely quintessential. I can't live by myself for very long. I turn the television on. I've got people over. I have to socialize to keep myself feeling normal. Otherwise, I get really weird. I mean, I can get stuck in my head and just get caught in all kinds of ideas and thoughts and spin out into the ozone layer. So keep me in relationship and I stay grounded, but not for too long. It's kind of confusing. That's why I'd be a great lawyer. I'm a great lawyer. I know how to deal with both sides of the story and listen to everybody's point of view and get along with everyone. I can see everyone's point of view and then I forget my own. <laughs> it's kind of confusing. I'm trying to tell you I'm a little confused, but I'm so cute, you won't mind. I don't mind. I kind of like being me as long as I got the right clothes and the jewelry and the nice looking things and my house is so beautiful. Oh my God, do I love beauty. I'll spend money on beauty. If I'm a man, I'm totally confused because I have this feminine nature. Men that are Libras are kind of feminine and women that are Libras are kind of masculine. I'm telling you, it's switched. We're kind of like backwards, upside down. The feminine woman, no, the male Libra is very effeminate because he has such great style and taste. The Libra that's a woman is very masculine because she wants to take full responsibility for her relationships. She really cares about relationship. And when she's in love, that's all that matters. She is the ultimate romantic. When she's in love, oh boy, well, she's a really good partner until you don't appreciate her. And then, see ya!